Hello there! In today's video, I am going to show you how you can visualize and process your data in Kafka stored as Google Protobuf. At Lensius.io, we get prospects asking us this question over and over again. We have our application storing data in Kafka using Google Protobuf. We want to visualize and process the data. Can your platform help us with that? The quick answer is yes, of course. But let's see it in action. I'm already running the Lensys box, which is the developer friendly edition of our platform. I've produced already data in Kafka stored as Google Probuff into this topic. By navigating to this topic, we can already see the data. If we pay more attention, we can see in the summary details that the value type for the Kafka message set to a class. Navigate here, we can get it to the full extent of that class name. So how does this work? In order to see the data in lenses, first we need to write a small plugin for custom surveys to be able to deserialize the Kafka record row bytes into something that lenses can work with. So let's see the example. We have a credit card entry with a few fields like name, country, currency, card number, blocked in type, stored in Kafka as Google Protobuf, as I said. Here's the schema for it. Using the Maven plugin, this Google Protobuf schema is lifted into a card into into a class called card data as defined by the schema. Once we have all of this we're in a position to implement the plugin for lenses. The code has to implement the SERD interface, and more specifically, the deserializer method. And here's the example code that we have built already. The row bytes is the payload for the Kafka record. The first line is lifting the row bytes into the credit card instance and then is being written back to an in-memory array as Avro. From the in-memory array as Avro, the data is, lift, is returned back to lenses as generic record. And that's how we see it in, len in lenses. In order to make it work, I have to compile my project. You have all the details in about the compilation here. And the resulting jars have to be deployed in lenses. I'm already doing that. If you look on the screen now, you can see that I'm mounting my demos folder into my docker slash alt slash 30 and we can go and look at the content of my demos. What I have in here is the Avro Protobuf library plus the library that I've just compiled. For performance reason though, because this code is quite generic and it goes from row bytes to credit card back to row bytes and then to generic record, we can do a little bit better. But that requires more manual work. Because I know the structure of my data, I can build that deserialization without having to go through that intermediary state. First, I need to build my Avro schema by hand. And I'm replicating here all the values, all the fields that are present in my probuf schema. Now, in the deserializer, after I read the data as a credit card, all I have to do is instantiate a generic record using the schema, and this time populate it with the values coming from the credit card instance. Go back to lenses because I've already uploaded this plugin, I can go back in here and I can choose to set it to the credit card per above 30, which is a slightly faster implementation. Come back to metrics tab and go back to data, it loads it back again. So we've seen so far how easily it is to get your Google per above data stored in Kafka visualized via lenses.io. But there's one thing I want to, to, to do before um, we finish this video. Now that I have this data in Kafka, 
most of you are asking how can I process it. And for that, Lensys comes with built-in SQL streaming that sits on top of Kafka and leverages Kafka streams. What I've done already is go and provision a Lensys SQL processor, which it's a very simple one. It reads from the Google Protobuf topic and inserts into Google Protobuf as Avro, and it's quite straightforward. It says insert into and store the value as Avro. So what I've done is I converted my topic data stored as Google Protobuf into a, another topic con containing the data as Avro. Go back to the Explorer screen. We see the Google Protobuf as Avro. We see that lens is automatically identified it the value type is Avro. If I navigate in here, I should see the same records that I've seen in the other topic containing Google Protobuf. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.